off, it's Denise, and I'm in my studio today with yet another project. I'm making uh, cards. Cards that are from uh, scraps and paint and things off my studio um, table. I, I have a pile of things that are kind of cool that I save for when I get in the mood to make cards. And, uh, and I'm in that mood today. So I make cards so that I have, have a gift with purchase if somebody buys a painting from me. Um, I have something to add in with the purchase. I make my own holiday cards. I love to make sets of cards, you know, the cards and envelopes um, for as gifts to give friends and family over the holidays. Anyway, the time is right and the time is now for Happy Hands at Home. So um, in the home studio. So it got me thinking, I do have a video from a Zoom class I taught on uh, a deep dive with Jelly Plate. And one segment of that class was um, making cards with your jelly plate. So I edited that down and I'm going to uh, offer it up to you now um, for, you know, in your watching pleasure. Uh, just be warned, I'm talking a little loud because it is a class and um, I was pretty forceful. And uh, not really. And uh, every once in a while you hear my students pipe up, which is always so nice for me to hear their voices. So that's kind of fun. But I put it together and cleaned it up and got a very long three hour class down to 17 minutes uh, for you to take a look at the, the video of making the cards. So um, I hope you watch it. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out and hit subscribe if you haven't already done it. Um, I try to put on a new video of whatever I'm working on and it's a little bit of everything and I've come to the conclusion that's just my genius. I just go from one thing to the other. Whatever, whatever suits my fancy that day creatively, that's where I go. And um, so I hope you enjoy it and... I'll let you have at it. And Bye. and this will be just something you can go on because everybody will have a different way, a different thing that they want to add in. So what I'm doing is I have these black cards, but I'm going to take these and then when these are done, I'm going to add them onto this. So, um, and this is just watercolor paper I cut up. Okay. So that's where these are going and they have a couple more steps to take on them. This was my first stamp, which I thought was going to be a leaf and it looks like a football. It does look like a football. <laughs> that one's out. <laughs> Sunday night football was going on in the background. So I maybe I had that. And then I started, I did this little tree and I started cleaning it all up and I just went, you know what? I kind of like it. So I'm going to be playing around with these to get them finished off. But I wanted to show you, um, aside from the cards that I suggested you get, and, and it totally, I don't care what you print on. The whole thing was making cards. And these were kind of nice because it's just a blank piece of paper. You can either, you can jelly right on this. But if you don't have these, I went through my, my uh, stationery. I found a whole ton of these little envelopes. Look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. And I just cut watercolor paper to go in there. Yeah. Um, so I'll do something on there. I also will work on, this is such a cool little, mm, that's not metallic cool. in it. I love that. This is one of those um, scrapbook pages. Wow. So that, that paper is typically pretty, pretty uh, stiff um, to work with. So I have this whole little group that, that I can do. Um, I had these great, the, and this is just leftover envelopes from something. So I took the pretty envelopes and just cut watercolor paper and I'll have those for cards. So pretty much we all have this kind of stuff at home. You have those things that are sent by charities you know, yes. that they send you a little set of gift cards uh, if you donate to them. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice if you donate to them, but hang on to those cards because you can jelly print over them. Mm. Ah. 
I do. So I have a bunch of cards, you know, ready to go that I've cut up. Um, even just regular white envelopes that I'm ready to go with the, you know, my watercolor paper. A nice thing about this is you can separate your envelopes and set them aside and not run the risk of getting paint on them unless you want to paint them because you can paint your envelope too. But it can be a little tricky when you're jelly plating and you have paint flying and chances are you're probably going to get splotches of paint in places you don't want it. So um, be aware of that. Uh, another thing when that does happen, that prompted me to start doing this. So I've got my card, but I have this really great vintage uh, stationery. And it says right here from N2. Oh, cool. So I cut that up as a little, little insert into my cards. And then, let me reach it. And then what I'll do when I'm, you know, I print on my card and then I put the insert paper and I take this copper wire and do a really cool little wrap on it that holds that paper in and do some kind of little twisty thing out here on the top. And it just adds another little element to the cards that are pretty cool. So much more than just jelly printing. Much more. Okay, let me get those out of the way. And let's start with, let me start with, I'm gonna go back to those black cards, uh, a new set of black cards that I was working on. So I don't know why I bought these, but they were kind of cool. So you can also print right on the black card. And it looks pretty nice. The yeah. only thing is, I guess you'd have to have one of those silver metallic pens to actually write on these. Oh. So these could actually be end up being just little pieces of art that you send somebody. Discovered that I never even thought of using were the, you know, as the ink pads. Mm -hmm. I love these little ink pads. I'm going to start oh, with this. Yeah because I just want a um, soft background. Oh, cool. Now, this doesn't look like much of anything. It doesn't look, you probably can hardly even see that. Let me see, I, and I don't have very many colors of this. And a green one here. Okay, let's let's see if we're gonna get this to work. Ooh, Love those great. stamps are the best. See, I got a little little bit of paint ink back here already. How fun that is! It doesn't look like it would come out that bright. Oh, I didn't think it would either. Oh, I didn't either. Yeah. That's a great idea. Like That's that. with a little like bit that. of the green. And I actually only want to, I don't want to cover the whole card. I just want to grab the sections. These two. You don't have to re-stamp it a whole lot, do you? Uh, not, it's not really. Let's see, this yeah. is the green I already did. Uh -huh. If I get anything pulled up from that. I think the ink stays wet just a little bit longer. Oh, I like Kind of grungy too, I love that. Oh my God, they're so your colors too, Denise. Yeah. So that's going to be my first little layer. I just wanted to create a background. He has no green. And then you can go back and all your little white edges, you can just grab, you know, randomly grab whatever's there. So there you go. That's kind of fun. 
They're really so fun. now I've got my fur. Oh, this little guy's got a little Dad. too much white. Okay, so we know they're all different. It's going to be a set. Mm -hmm. So um, now I might want to add a little bit of background texture. And I'm really loving, I, I really love this. Uh, the sap green is one of my favorite golden colors. And it's so transparent. A little bit too much paint there. Oh, okay. But you know what you can also do, which looks really great. Here's an envelope. And I keep a, a scrap of papers over here on my left-hand side. I keep a whole bunch of, the, of things that, you know, I don't want to waste paint. This could be kind of cool. Mm. Oh, I would just leave it like that. It's awesome. Awesome, yeah. That's fabulous. So you don't want to lose you know, that's going to be kind of a fun little envelope. I so love it. a lot of paint on here. Let's do some bubble wrap. Do this guy. And you saw me use these things last week. And I want to kind of just do them random. One, get my mouse out of the way. There, so now there's step two. So I'm following my little process. Let me see, my next thing is a stencil. So I've got my texture and I've got my little stack of stencils. I picked out the ones I wanted to use in class, but I had to show you. I just bought these two little stencils at the dollar store last night. Wow. Yeah, wow. some of them were really dorky, but this, I, I mean, come on, polka dots are so great. <laughs> we we might have to use that one. And, um, this this guy, uh, there's 10 little stencils in this pack. Uh -huh. Now I have doubles, I have doubles in here. So I actually have 20, but I, this was so inexpensive and it has these great little stencils that are perfect yeah. for cards. Wow. They're perfect for anything. I use them on my artwork as well. Um, you can, this is one I just made and I haven't used it yet. But it's, you know, I really love the circles, but it's, they're more irregular. It's handmade. So that one I'm really going to enjoy using. One of my favorite stencils. However, this is not one. Let me put something behind it so you can see it. Not one that's good for actually jelly plating um, because it's too little. When it's too fine like this, they just don't show up that well. But you can definitely go over and, and add this as a stencil. Mm -hmm. So Denise, what yes. is the material that you buy to make your own stencils? What is that called? Well, um, this was just one. It's like a mylar. This mylar. is one that I've had sitting around forever and it fell out of my stencil. So I just cut some holes. But th this is just out of cardboard. This is out of like, you can make them out of, um, you know, the manila folders. Uh huh. You, anything that has a little bit of stiffness to it. Because once it starts building, paint starts building up on it, they're, they're pretty durable. And this, let me see, how do I want to make this so it's actually on the jelly plate as well? That's, um, I picked out my colors over here. I do have this really great, um, Wow. metallic uh what is this color called green flash <laughs> it's green flash let's see what this does okay. 
metallic, turns out pretty yellowy. Let me see, what do I want to use on this? I'm not sure it's going to show up now that I see it. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to take that. I'm going to rub some of this out. Let's see what happens then. Maybe nothing on this color that I've got going on. Um, I can see it. It's got a nice little shimmer to it. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the color is pretty light, so. That one too. So this one's just oh, adding a shimmer to it. And I can just go back and pick up, cover my edges. Whenever you have um, paint on here, it's good to go back and, and clean up all those little white edges. So this will just be a cleanup coat. And maybe I'll just go ahead and add a stencil. I love this one. Love what's happening on this one. That's really pretty. And I'm really liking the colors now. That one barely picked up. But it, again, it's the layers once you start adding the layers in. So let's go right to actually um, stenciling right on this. So maybe I want to take this. Um, I've talked to you before about uh, making sure that when you're stenciling, you use a good stencil brush. These are really nice, soft stencil brushes. They're not really um, hard and bristly. And I wanna make sure I have a paper towel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it right, right on my little jelly. Th these work as really great little palettes. Now, this is not actually one of the colors I chose. But when you're stenciling, you want to load up your brush, not a ton of paint, and then you want to offload it. Ooh, One little oh. print. Nice. Actually, that red looks kind of nice. Um, oh, this is fun. I'm going to go for this kind of craggly stuff right here. That's fun. Mm -hmm. So the, these, you know, that does kind of look like blood spl splatters. <laughs> doesn't it? Now that I look at it. <laughs> Oh, I love that little frame. Yeah, that's cute. Oh my God, that's perfect. perfect. So you see, you just keep building and building and building. What haven't I used? And uh, this one could use some little dots. Baby polka dots. Yeah, those yeah. guys. Those are always good. Can't go wrong with polka dot. Those look great. And so now I've got my stencils. Now I can.
sure it's going to work that great. And I'm putting it on pretty thick, which is what I always tell you not to do. But that that envelope's going to go fine with that. I love it. And that. I'll add a few more colors onto it. Like this would probably be really great on it, the uh, green metallic. Okay, this is going to be wild and wacky right here. Oh. <laughs> Might be fun just to um, Can you see what I'm doing there? Mm -hmm. Oh, kind of cool. fun. I like that a lot. So don't let, let anything go to waste. And, and just like the cards, I can keep adding onto this, onto the envelopes. Uh, I love, you know, it's the simple things like that that I love the most. Mm -hmm. Simple things in life, Denise. <laughs> That's great. Because now I've lightened up that black a little bit and I can go back in. I'm going to go right over this. That's kind of fun. I can just keep going back and forth on this one. going to be pretty nice and I'm still going to add more to these cards but that's going to be a nice little card set how are you going to mount the um that onto the black card I either use what I like to use the most is I like this double-sided scotch tape yeah and I and I use glue sticks because this is not you know this is not artwork that we have to worry about being archival so I'll use the cheaper paints. I use the, the glue sticks for this. And, but my favorite thing is the uh, double-sided scotch tape. But I can also, let's see, I'm not gonna be able to line that up. So I'll do another one. I love, I, I'm really loving the stamps. I, like I don't know why I've never used them before, um, but I love the, the, they're just so simple and the color is so perfect and it almost comes out every time. That one's really soft, but that's okay. It's just another part of the layer. And, and uh, oftentimes that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna print something and it's not gonna come out and it's not a big deal. You just go over it with something else. What are, the, are we with those? I thought you were talking about the bigger stamps. Those are little stamps. These are, are the little ones. They sell those everywhere. Is it, is um, it, I got these at Michael's, but I've had them for a while. Yeah. And now that I've added one, I've got to add a bunch of them. Do they have prints on them or is it just, uh, I mean, is there, let's see. It, it, it's just a little oh, stamp see. pad and uh -huh. it's just leaving that imprint, which I, I kind see. of like. Okay. Yes, I see. And this is the little and sign that I didn't really like, but now I'm liking it on there. Yeah. It, it wasn't really turning out. So you just can't go wrong. You just keep adding on to things. Yeah. Um, I think these actually work better when you stamp them onto the jelly plate than stamping them right onto the paper. And you know what? Some of this might not be stamping perfectly because I'm using watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. Where do I want to put those two guys? Ooh, that's right in the middle. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just fun. is you can go through a dictionary and find something on, um, find some words, and an old dictionary if you had it, or an old book or something, or, or, okay, what about this, you guys? An old Christmas card and just rip out the sentiment out of the Christmas card <laughs> and put it on the front. Uh -huh. You know, I, I'm gonna write on this so I don't, um, 
I don't really want the word inconceivable for my dictionary. <laughs> that's a really good word to put on here. Um, include is a good word. You can usually always go through and find something that's going to work. Do you um, ever use a glass medium or anything to? Over no, because a, a glass medium, you're going to have to wait too long for it. I mean, you could. I mean, it might be just something really simple, like I want this little number. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let me add these numbers up and see which one I want. I have to go find a glue stick. Wait, I haven't looked at my stamps in so long. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, that's just like a little number I just want to stick on there that means nothing, except for it's a good little design, good little addition. So there you go. There is a set of four cards. You can give them as gifts. You can send them as holiday cards. You can do them for everyday cards, but do them. They're fun. They're so much fun to do. Um, just pull out your jelly plate. Don't have an intention and just put some colors together and make some cards. It's really fun. And it goes along with my last couple of videos of creating um, artwork. Uh, from small pieces of scraps, creating cards from scraps. So you're going to want to check out those videos as well. And in the meantime, get out your jelly plate. Have some fun. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. I really love thumbs up. And I love it if you subscribe because um, then we're there together on YouTube. It's kind of fun. So um, until next time, see you in the studio.